hi everyone welcome to a new video so in this video we are going to discuss how to configure aws toolkit for visual studio also we discuss that what are the benefits of that aws toolkit using visual studio and what are the steps to follow to configure in visual studio so before going to the implement for the aws toolkit so let's understand what are the benefits of that so the aws toolkit for visual studio it is an extension for microsoft visual studio running on the microsoft windows and uh, that makes easier for the developers to develop debug and deploy the dotnet applications using amazon web services and also using the aws toolkit for visual studio will able to get started faster and more productive when the building aws applications so here like in this image you can see that in the aws explorer uh, in visual studio all the services are coming up so that we can develop, debug and uh, deploy the .NET applications using Amazon Web Services will be smoother and easier. So to install to the AWS Toolkit, so let's go to the browser and here type as AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio. And though I am using the Visual Studio 2022, so I am going to download that. So there is two link, one is the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio 2022 that is in the marketplace also in the Amazon Web Services. So you can go any one up link. So if I go to the Visual Studio extension in AWS Amazon.com. So though I am using this version, so I click download for it. And then it's navigate to also the same page wherever the marketplace is that. So either way you can use any one of the link. So click here for download. So this is downloaded. So let's double click this. And you can see that that the BSX installer is progress on. So we'll follow the steps to install it and click on install. So now you can see the installation is completed. So let's close it and open the Visual Studio to verify that the AWS Explorer is coming or not. And here in the view, now we can see that the AWS Explorer is coming. So after the installation of AWS Toolkit, so this AWS Explorer is common view section of the Visual Studio. So let's click it. So here you can see that it says that unable to connect to the AWS. So though my credential is not corrected so that it will this type of issue so let's uh, delete the aws profile from the visual studio whatever i used earlier and uh, i will create a credentials new and uh, we'll implement here so that we'll see that all the aws services are coming into here like this so let's delete it so we need to have uh, create a credentials in uh, AWS console and that credential will import here so that all the services will be come to here. So let's flip to AWS console and we'll create one credential for that. So here the AWS console and choose that the IAM credentials identity access management. So we need to have create and credentials that would be added in the AWS Explorer. So we need to have a create a credential. So click on the users. So let's uh, click on the create user and set a username here. And uh, click on the provide user access. And uh, let's click on the I want to create a IAM user. And I'm setting a custom password here. And click on next. So here I will select the attach policies directly and uh, here we need to choose the two policies basically one is the administrator access and other is IAM self manage. So currently I have choose the two policies one is administrator access and another is I self manage service access so according to your requirement you should add Amazon S3 full access or uh, uh, Lambda's access uh, according to your choice. So for that, this is for me. So click on next. So you can see that the three policies added. Two is I have added and another though I choose the custom password. So it 
uh, already added the IAM user change password policy and uh, let's click on the create user so you can see the user has been created with uh, the credentials of console login so using this uh, URL and this password also we can uh, logged in separately uh, without the root user so we can also log in so I'm not going to into that so just click on the return user list so it from that uh, you have not viewed or downloaded user password so just download for our separate side so I'm click on the download CSV file so it's downloaded and let's click on the return to user list and click on the username and we need to have add the access key to access in the visual studio so let's click on the security credentials and come below you can see there is a create access key so just click it so just click on the applications running outside aws and click on next click on create access key so we can use the access key and access password in visual studio to log in the credentials but the csp file is there so that also we need to have import and we can set the credentials so i am doing in that way so click on the download csp file so the name is zwis access keys csv so it's downloaded so just go to the visual studio and in visual studio just click here on the add aws credential profile and here uh, though i am using i am user role so i will click it and import from the csv file so this csv file i need to have import you can see that the access key id secret switch uh, imported from the csv file so you can set the name so let's um, set as like that and click on add so this profile to be authenticated so in some sub seconds so it will be authenticated whether we are able to see or not so see so it's authenticated now and we can see that whatever in our aws uh, consoles all of the things should be here and uh, though i am using from india so it should be for me it's mumbai asia pacific mumbai so it's validating so we have used one user so that users also we can see here ZAWS that I have created and the roles that I have uh, using for ZAWS so that also is come here so according to that if you are user if you are using any vpc or any uh, like the dynamo db or any cloud watch or cloud phone anything you have uh, a set in your aws console so that can be accessed here and uh, we can use that and also another thing is that if we can create a lambda project or aws project so let's file new project in the project templates we can see also the aws uh, projects are there you can see that is aws unit test and everything so just i am here as choose as aws lambda so on future uh, videos so we'll see that what is aws lambda and everything but currently just we can choose that you can see that aws lambda project.net code is there so we can create that as well so on my next video we'll see that on how to create a lambda project how to uh, deploy it and also like the ecs and uh, how to uh, project upload on s3 bucket etc so on the future video so it should become so i hope uh, you should be understand the how we can add uh, the toolkit in visual studio and uh, how to add the credentials uh, to here to use that so that's it for the video thanks for watching